The Arab Republic of Egypt mourns Sheikh Nawafil Ahmed al Sabah of Kuwait, who passed away on Saturday. In a statement, the Egyptian presidency said that uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Egyptian people mourned the deceased leader, who was supportive of the Arab and Islamic nation, keen on its affairs, wise in his leadership, and gave great efforts and generous uh, to his country and to the Arab and Islamic nations. The statement added that Egypt declared three days of mourning uh, for the deceased Kuwaiti emir nationwide, asking God for the deceased to rest in peace and to inspire the people of Kuwait with patience. Kuwaiti's emir Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Sabah died on Saturday, aged 86, according to the royal court, just over three years after assuming uh, power, uh, the U.S. allied Gulf oil producer. Kuwait's Emir Court announced on Saturday the country's ruling Emir, the 86-year-old Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Sabah, died. Kuwait State Television made an announcement that read, with great sadness and sorrow, the Kuwaiti people, the Arab and Islamic nations, and the friendly peoples of the world mourn the late His Highness, the Emir Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabir al Sabah, who passed away to his Lord today, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah al Sabah. The cause of his death was not immediately disclosed. The emir was admitted to hospital late last month due to what the state news agency described as uh, at the time as an emergency health problem, but said that he was, non, it was in a stable condition. Kuwait's uh, deputy ruler and his half-brother, Sheikh Mish'al al-Ahmed al-Jabir, now 83, is believed to be the world's oldest crown prince. He is in line to take over as Kuwait's ruler. Sheikh Nawaf was born in as Emir following the 2020 death of his predecessor, the late Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. Sheikh Nawaf previously served as Kuwait's Interior and Defense Minister. Sheikh Nawaf's term had been focused on domestic issues as struggled through political disputes, including the overall of Kuwait's welfare system, which prevented the Sheikh Dam from taking on debt. In 2021, Sheikh Nawaf issued a long-awaited amnesty decree pardoning and reducing the sentences of nearly three dozen Kuwaiti dis dissidents. He issued another just uh, before his illness, aiming to resolve the political impasse. The national election announced on Saturday that a press conference will be held on Monday at 2 p.m. Uh, to declare the results of first round of presidential elections. Danny E. said it has not received any appeals from the four presidential uh, candidates or their deputies in the presidential elections and over the issued decisions uh, from the public polling stations on the voting process in elections. The authority added that the public polling stations nationwide has not received any appeals from the candidates or the deputies over voting process during the determined dates since the start of voting until the conclusion of the vote counting and the final announcement of counting results at each public polling station. And dozens of Palestinians were killed uh, in Gaza, according to the genocidal crimes that were waged by the Israelis.